Hello everyone, welcome back to another podcast session. We hope you are doing great. Today, as you already noticed from the color of our presentation we are going to talk about an emergency topic. So, today's topic is going to be how to build a disaster survival kit, essential items to include. If you missed our previous two episodes regarding to emergency survival plans and kits don't forget to check them out. We thought these podcasts might be really useful seeing the past Turkey's earthquake. So, without any further ado let's talk about today's topic. In the face of natural disasters or emergencies, preparation is key. Your survival may hinge on the contents of your disaster survival kit. In this guide, we'll discuss the essential items you need in your kit to stay safe and secure during a crisis. Disasters strike without warning, and it's crucial to be prepared. A well-stocked disaster survival kit can be a lifesaver. In this article, we'll outline the essential items you need in your kit, how to organize and maintain it, and share additional preparedness tips. The Importance of a Disaster Survival Kit Having a disaster survival kit increases your chances of survival and helps you remain self-sufficient during a crisis. From natural disasters like earthquakes and hurricanes to emergencies such as power outages and evacuations, a disaster survival kit ensures you have the necessary resources to stay safe and secure. Essential Items for a Disaster Survival Kit Here are the must-have items to include in your disaster survival kit. 1. Water, 1 gallon per person per day for at least 3 days. 2. Non-perishable food, a 3-day supply for each person. 3. Manual can opener, 4. Opening canned food. 4. First aid kit, include bandages, gauze, adhesive tape, antiseptic wipes, tweezers, scissors, and pain relievers. 5. Prescription medications a week's supply of essential medications. 6. Battery-powered or hand-crank radio, to receive emergency information. 7. Flashlights, one per person, with extra batteries. 8. Whistle, to signal for help. 9. Dust masks, to filter contaminated air. 10. Plastic sheeting and duct tape, to create a barrier against contaminated air or water. 11. Moist towelettes, garbage bags, and plastic ties for personal hygiene and waste disposal. 12. Wrench or pliers to turn off utilities. 13. Local maps to navigate during evacuations. 14. Clothing and bedding, extra clothes, sturdy shoes, and blankets or sleeping bags. 15. Cash and important documents. Keep copies of identification, insurance policies, and bank account records in a waterproof container. Organizing and maintaining your kit. To keep your kit organized and up to date, follow these tips. Store items in airtight plastic bags or containers. Place the kit in an easily accessible location. Update the kit every three to six months. Replace expired food, water, and batteries and adjust clothing sizes for growing children. Review your kit's contents with family members to ensure everyone knows what's inside. Additional Disaster Preparedness Tips Beyond your disaster survival kit, consider these additional preparedness measures. Create a family emergency plan. Discuss evacuation routes, emergency contacts, and meeting locations. Learn basic first aid and CPR. Install smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors in your home. Know the risks and hazards specific to your area. Additional items to consider. Depending on your individual needs and circumstances, you may want to include the following items in your disaster survival kit. Pet supplies, food, water, medications, and a carrier or leash. Baby supplies, formula, diapers, wipes, and baby food. Personal hygiene items, toothbrushes, toothpaste, soap, and feminine products. Glasses, extra eyeglasses, contact lenses, and hearing aid batteries. Tools, a multi-tool, matches or a lighter, 
and a fire extinguisher. Entertainment, books, games, and puzzles to help pass the time during an extended period of confinement. Unexpected Disasters The 2023 Turkish Earthquake the devastating earthquake that struck Turkey in 2023 serves as a stark reminder of the importance of emergency preparedness. With little warning, countless people found themselves in desperate situations, unsure of what to do next. Those who had taken the time to prepare disaster survival kits and familiarize themselves with safety measures were better equipped to endure the crisis until support from the government and relief organizations arrived. This tragic event underscores the critical need to be proactive in our approach to emergency preparedness, as the unexpected can happen at any moment. As always we prepared some FAQs for you. Let's discover them together. Question. How much water should I store in my disaster survival kit? Answer. Store one gallon, three, five liters of water per person per day for at least three days. Believe me. It seems a lot, but all this gallon won't be used just to drink. Question. What kind of food should I include in my kit? Answer. Opt for non-perishable food items with long shelf lives, such as canned goods, dried fruits, nuts, granola bars, and ready-to-eat meals. Question. How often should I update my disaster survival kit? Answer. Update your kit every three to six months to replace expired items and make necessary adjustments. Question. What additional measures can I take to prepare for emergencies? Answer. Develop a family emergency plan, learn basic first aid and CPR, install smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors, and familiarize yourself with the specific risks and hazards in your area. In conclusion, building a disaster survival kit is an essential step in emergency preparedness. With the right items, organization, and maintenance, your kit will provide you with the resources you need to weather any crisis. Remember to continually update your kit and consider additional preparedness measures to further enhance your safety. So, that's it for today's episode. We hope you learned something from this podcast. Let us know how we did in this podcast and if there is something we can do to improve our way of presenting the podcast. Our aim is to make more contents to teach you something every day. So tell us what you want to hear from us. So see you next time with another podcast and until then take care and have a great week folks.